narcissistic individuals typically follow a predictable pattern of behaviour, whether they're engaging with old supply or new supply, which is why it can be that narcissistic people seem to treat people so well. And it's those people who are supplying the narcissist with the attention and a validation that they believe they're entitled to. The narcissist cycle usually includes several stages designed to manipulate and control people to the narcissist's advantage. They more often than not start off with the idolisation stage of the relationship where they're going to put someone on that pedestal, they're going to shower them with attention, affection and support, they're going to love bomb them, want to spend excessive time with them, shower them with gifts and attention, mirror who they are as a person to future fake with them. This stage is filled with love bombing and false promises, making the person the narcissist is idolising, feel special and wanted and adored. The narcissist creates a fantasy of perfection, leading the supply to believe that they found the ideal friend, the ideal partner, somebody who truly understands them. And then when the narcissist has got that person where they want them and the narcissist is envious of that person's identity, that person's hobbies, that person's career goals, that person's family, that person's independence, or the person no longer is perceived by the narcissist to be providing the narcissist with enough attention, the narcissist begins to devalue that person, to sabotage that person, to bring that person crashing down so that the narcissist can feel superior. Once a narcissist has secured their supplies attention, the devaluation stage often begins. The once loving behaviour is replaced with criticism, manipulation and subtle put downs. The narcissist chips away at people's self esteem, leaving them feeling confused and trying to regain the affection that they once experienced during the idolisation stage. Now, when the person starts to think that they've just had enough, they can no longer tolerate this behaviour and tries to step away, the narcissist uses something known as intermittent reinforcement, where they begin to idolise them all over again so that the narcissist can maintain control. They alternate between affection and cruelty, often blaming and gaslighting the other person for the cruelty and taking the credit for the affection, the narcissist taking the credit. This tactic keeps their supply hooked as they never know when they're going to receive the validation and they feel responsible for the narcissist's mistreatment of them. It creates a cycle of hope and disappointment, creating things such as the trauma bond, making the supply more dependent on the narcissist. More often than not, at some point, the narcissist is never satisfied, therefore they will go and seek out a new source of supply, monkey branching from one relationship to the next. Narcissistic individuals typically get bored and dissatisfied. It doesn't matter what you do for them, it's never going to be enough. So they begin to search for a new source of attention, validation, admiration, and the current supply is gradually neglected in favour of the attention of the strangers. Once the narcissist has secured a new source of supply, they often discard, either te usually temporary, discard the old supply. The narcissist usually decides that they've had enough of the old supply, they're going to punish the old supply, so they often suddenly and without explanation discard the old supply. It can be emotionally devastating for the discarded person who is left wondering what went wrong and what they did wrong. It's usually temporary because when a narcissist is bored of the new supply, they can go back to an old supply. The final discard often comes from the victim when they can no longer tolerate the narcissist's behaviour. At which point a narcissist might go all out on their mass smear campaign, they are the masters of manipulation, they play the poor abused victim to anyone who dares to stand up to them. The narcissist starts a smear campaign often before the relationship is even over, but they sort of do it in a way where they're feigning concern. They spread lies, they distort truths, they manipulate situations to destroy their supplies' reputation so that the narcissist can keep theirs intact, so the narcissist can play the martyr. So 
whether the narcissist can avoid accountability. And if they believe that the supplier is doing well without them or has something to offer them, the narcissist will go back for the Hoover, which is the term named after the vacuum cleaner brand Hoover, because they come along to suck you back in, to treat you like dirt, to then discard you all over again. Narcissists can attempt to Hoover their old supplies back into their lives, be it their parents, their friends, other family members, co-workers, ex-partners, promising change, promising to go to therapy, rekindling old flames, trying to reminisce about the good times, bringing back the idolization stage. And this cycle is for the narcissist to ensure that they remain in control of the given situations, in control of the supply, keeping the discarded person emotionally tied to them. Understanding these stages can help people to recognise manipulative, narcissistic behaviour and protect themselves from the emotional damage caused by narcissistic individuals and narcissistic abuse.